Okay, so Xbox Game Pass and my first impressions for the PC version. Well, the most attractive thing about this whole Xbox Game Pass is the fact that for only $1, you can have three months of the Xbox Game Pass for the PC. But let's talk about the Xbox Game Pass in general. Uh, why is this so unique? Well, what's so unique about this is the fact that with this uh, ability now to be able to play on a PC, you're going to have some awesome, cool ways of you to play the Xbox brand games. Okay, so if you're somebody who wants to play Halo and doesn't necessarily have uh, Xbox console, well, guess what? Now you're going to have the opportunity to play on the PC and join uh, the rest of the gamers on the Xbox with that Halo experience. I think the whole point here is for Phil Spencer to get more people connected, you know, not to have people be stuck in some kind of a limbo where they're limited to just that one console and that one brand and they can only play it on that one console and that one brand. Uh, I'm not saying that the exclusives are not important. Of course they're important, but I also like the, the fact that he's giving uh, you the ability to play the Xbox brand elsewhere other than just on your console, you know. So let's go through this uh, Xbox Game Pass really quick and let's just kind of look at it. I'll bring my camera a little bit closer here. Now this is the one game that I really want to try and I'm glad that I didn't uh, purchase this game. This is Metro Exodus on a window, Windows uh, and it's included with the uh, Xbox Game Pass for the PC. So I'm kind of glad that this is available because I really want to see what my uh, graphics card and this monitor can do with this game. And I would like to play through this game again. So uh, this is definitely something I'm going to uh, be installing and trying out. Let's see what else they've got. Uh, there's a football manager, you know, for those of you who like football manager uh, that's available. Uh, there's the prey. Uh, that, that's something I might want to look into again. Look at the uh, the prey and play the prey again. Because I never completed this game. This is something I definitely might want to play. Uh, there's some other cool indie games. Supermarket Shriek, Void Bastards, Wolfenstein 2 Standard Edition. I never played the PC version, so that's pretty cool. So... Uh, this is something I want to play on this ultra widescreen monitor, 49 inch. Uh, we got Imperator, Im Im Imperator, Rome Strategy. Okay. We got Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 4, State of Decay 2. We got the Recore. Uh, we got Ark. Survival Evolved. Well, that's pretty cool. I always wanted to try this game. Uh, Ark Survival Evolved. I always wanted to, to try this game out. I never got a chance to play this, so now I get the chance to play it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else they've got. they got a bunch of uh, independent indie games as well. There's uh, Astroneer. Looks like a very interesting uh, game. Astroneer. I'll definitely check this out as well. Let's see what else we got. We got the cross code. Uh, let's see sports and racing. See what they've got there. Sports and racing. They got Riptide. They got the cluster truck. Forza Horizon 4. All right. You guys have to remember, they just started this. You know, it's still in beta. So it's going to take a little while till they uh, get some more games on here. Uh, there's a Wasteland 2, Director's Cut. 
pretty cool. I definitely want to try this out. Wasteland 2, Director Scott. I definitely want to check this out. And let's see what else we got. Let's click show all of them. Let's see what we got. Oh, Shenmue 1 and 2. Well, how cool is that? Shenmue 1 and 2, it's included. I will definitely would like to try this out uh, on the PC. So there's some pretty cool experiences here uh, to be played. And let's see, what else? What else? The Surge. We got the Surge. Titan Quest. Oxenfree. Uh, Vampire. You know, I never played the Vampire, so that's something I want. I wanna, I wanna try out and play Vampire. I never played this, so this is like something I would definitely like to check out. That's pretty cool. Um, those are the RPGs games. Let's see what else they got. strategy let's look at the shooter games see what they've got in the shooter uh super hot it's included well that's awesome uh you gotta remember the halo master chief collection will be included uh in the future super hot it's included uh wolfenstein metro exodus there it is right there it's included um prey it's included And there's, a, there's another game called The Ruiner. It's also included as well. So there's not that many games right now at the moment. Uh, because they just started this. They just rolled this out not too long ago. Uh, but in, you know, in the next coming months, you know, by the time we hit October, November, you're going to see truckload of... Uh, games on the uh, Xbox Game Pass PC uh, version. Now, why is this so unique and so cool? Well, here's the reason why. With the Xbox brand, now you get to enjoy all of the games that the Xbox has via PC or via your console or via your Xbox cloud. And you're getting all of this for the price of 15 bucks a month honestly i mean uh what's so unique about the microsoft and the xbox and what's so intriguing to me about what phil, phil spencer is doing is he's not ripping you off he's giving you a great value with sony playstation i don't think you're getting a great value man you're paying 24 dollars a month for playstation plus and then if you want to sign up with playstation now you have to pay another 20 so that's a total of 45 46 dollars a month okay uh and you don't have this ability like you can't play playstation exclusive games on the pc you can do that there's a lot of different things you can't do on the sony console that you can hear on the microsoft and i think this that's the important message here what phil spencer's trying to bring about is hey let's not limit ourselves just to be tethered to a television or to a console, let's broaden up this uh, playground and let's reach out to the other players out there. Let let the let the players choose on how they want to play the video games. And I think that's what he's trying to achieve, and I think he has achieved that here. You know, so. Um, like I said, I have no complaints. I like it. I like what they're doing. I like what Phil Spencer's doing. And you guys have to remember, he's going to show some more games this uh, November on the XO19, which will be in London. Uh, the Xbox press conference is going to be in London. So XO19 is going to be in London, and he's going to show some more games from different studios that you will see uh on that uh briefing well there you have it guys this is the xbox game pass pc beta and uh, i hope you like this thank you